I hate that Target is like this. You need to get a toothpaste and everything. And do you know? And look at you have to ask somebody to open it for you. This is annoying. Um, I'm gonna try to shave. I haven't tried that yet. Let's right, see what's so going on. Have it. No, that's the only one she wanted. Thank Let's you. I appreciate it. Not on any? Oh, it's on native. I should have known it was on blasted native. Who the hell want native? Like, you know what? I didn't give it a chance for summertime, winter time, but nah. Just want like onions, what's not? But I guess, you know, that's what I got so far. I got even tone. I, to have I never tried this one before, so I'm gonna try this and see if it's good, long lasting, but I need two paste too, please. Thank you. <laughs> so that's. Put this in. Oh, okay. You know what? Just put it aside. And I don't know why did I press the button? That was I wasn't sure if he was working here or not. But yeah, I want to get a lightning toothpaste. I was just saying I want to get some crest probably. Maybe I'll try this. Apparently, lightning ones cost more money. Uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully, this music does not demonetize me. I can't. Uh. I'm sorry to have you on the tripod. My body about to die. I know I should have charged it last night. It's just foolishness. You know what? I'm not even using it that much. I'm not even using it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I haven't been vlogging like that. But we didn't charge it as all the, as all. <laughs> sorry, as always. I just get my allergy medicine. I'm talking about this stuff. I didn't get my allergy medicine. Oh. <laughs> I just get allergy stuff. I'll probably put that tomorrow. Like your traveling allergy stuff. Surprisingly, the battery's on zero and it's still going. Surprise, I'm shocked. I am shocked. Traveling. This is pretty good, but I'm not gonna buy that today. Use my money for something else. Let's see. I like the other target, the big target. Like, Express Target don't have everything you need. I'm not gonna lie to you. It has some things. It's, it's fast. It's, it's literally Express, but I can't. I need everything. I need the, the place to be big. I go to CVS and CVS. I feel like it costs so much more to get what you need. I just thought about getting a person a gift. I'm a gift giver, guys. Today has been a long day. I'm not even. Cause we, I'm gonna be on a tripod. Cause I, it'll probably be easier right now. So if y'all watch my TikTok, KK is an extra um, gymnastics. But TikTok I don't know before y'all because it's more instant. And I don't save for this from there and this is from my camera. So God knows when y'all will actually hear what's going on. And today was a trip. So we did that. They took a trip to another middle school. Or another school, which is a middle school. This thing is really slanted. I guess this you don't see it, but I see it. This thing is not straight. That's why I be alright. The part with the lenses, it goes in it, but it doesn't go in all the way. All the time, I'm like kind of here, like shh, shh, shh. when this thing breaks, I'm getting out the camera. Well, obviously, but I don't, I don't know when though. That's the problem. Um, what did I say? Oh, Kick is right there talking about her. Look at her. Talk about it. Um, I hope she had fun today. This lady is. But she's black. But this lady is black. Um, she's like the same, probably the same size as her last class. Um, so yeah, this is going on right now. Oh, my belly is itching me. Yo, this weather's gonna take me apart. As it gets cold, let me, let me put y'all on my back and see. I'm gonna actually talk to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I got things to do. You know, as it gets cold, because I have eczema. Um, I feel like my other stuff. When it gets cold, because I have eczema. My, 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 all my body just be itching, my stomach, my legs, everywhere just be itching. I gotta put on lotion. You know what it is? Sometimes I don't put lotion on. I only put lotion on in the winter time. So I'll be playing myself. So that's why that's, it is where it is. Hopefully I can hear me, because I, you know, I don't have a mic. Maybe I should do that, but I just don't want to have to charge the mic. Hopefully Mark took up the sound. Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna start doing that though. I'm gonna become professional. My mic in my hands. But, um, yeah, I know. I got eczema. You know? I looked at myself the other day. I was like, oh my god, my hand got regular. As they got back regular to regular color, it's cold again, so my eczema gonna be activated. I'm happy because last year, this time, my skin wasn't normal yet. So it just got, it was already dark from the year before, from the cold, but I was gonna take care of it. And this year I have, I put on, I put on lotion more. I'm just gonna take a, somebody in my daughter's class gave me this um, sticker today after the trip. But they gave me kids stickers, so yeah. Um, but yeah, 
yeah. That was insane. So that's what's going on. I put on lotion more because it's, it's, you know, cold. <laughs> My body needs lotion because I have eczema. That is what it is. I'm using these little cheap lotions. I think they're not good, but I'm gonna use them up because I'll be if y'all don't know me by now. Some of these lotions, this is from a, this is not from my doctor's office. If it was from my doctor's office, it'd be fine, but it's not. Um, like, these are from the hotel. The hotel ones are garbage. I have to use it more. But this from my doctor's office, I don't have to use as much. Let me go PT. I don't have to use as much. So um this is better. I'm gonna use this up too. You gonna go outside with shorts on, you're gonna be too cold. What happened? So they better? What happened? So she just finished gymnastics. I was hoping that today was better than <laughs> dollar days. Especially because they have them in classes. So she was in the um, first uh, 9 to 11 class, but she's still in that. She's doing two gymnastic classes. It's costing me a little bit. Um, so I put her in the one way because the kids are younger. So seven to nine. She's the oldest in this class, so even though my daughter's not older, you see if that looks a little bit better. So we're gonna talk about it off camera and see what happens. Pray for me, <laughs> cause I want to be good at this and I want to be great. But we just take more classes. So I think she needs more one-on-one -on -one classes too. But to have a big class is like a lot. Like if she's in swimming, if she's in a big class. I feel like she didn't learn as much. When she's in a smaller class by herself, she's a smaller class. Is it better? So, I don't know. We'll see. But, I don't think, but to do a class by yourself is $120. To get a class with two people is $90 a kid. I'm always going to put the extra money and get that one-on-one -on -one class. Like, I think it's 30 minutes, I believe. I don't know. We'll see how these classes. Then they have, um, there's this thing called, it's called, when you can just come in. Free for all, it's not that, but it's something like that. Like, you just come in, and just do the equipment for like 15 minutes on each equipment thing, and then you come out in the hour after an hour and a half. But yeah, I don't know. Let's see. So, this child has the audacity, right? She comes to me looking sad. I asked her how to class, she acts like it's not good. I asked her now, now she's talking to me. I think honestly, because she wants food, she said she did the class. I just asked her first time, you act like it was an attitude. Same, but they're on your, they're your age group and they're really beginners. Your class is not like beginner classes. I think their class is intermediate. And that's the problem. So now you're going to be in, you're in a real beginner's class, you're in an intermediate class. You should do better, okay? Calm down. That's lotion. This is my doctor's office. He stole my lotion. You have a, no, I gave you a lotion ready this week. You do it a lot. Use it up. So she said she's doing better in class. She feel like she's, I think this, this is really, it's really a real intermediate class, and she's the oldest in the class. And everybody's on the same level. I think she feels more comfortable. I want to be comfortable and love gymnastics. She loves it, but she just, uh, she's a person. She wants to get everything right away. I'm like, girl, you have to learn how to do the skill. You're not some bone balls right now. Maybe in ten years, five, five years, it could be some bone balls. But right now, you can't. So you have to learn the basics. She wants to learn everything like boom, boom. And she's good. You're good at it. No, you have to learn from the nitty gritty first, and then you can get better. But um. It's an investment. You gotta invest in your kids. I want her to do music. Somebody promised to do it and never it didn't come through. And that piano sitting right there. You know, I gave her piano for Christmas. This year, I'm not getting her no gifts. I'm giving her 25 days of Christmas thing that I do every year. So, maybe I do skincare again. We'll see. Last year, I did skincare from Sephora. It cost me all my leg in the city. But, um, what happened to the bathroom? Huh? Your back hurt? We've been stretching. Yeah, this is the Vaseline. I know you lost. But you had phone. She had to give it back to you. <laughs> Looking for that damn thing for nothing. That was a BB lip gloss. <gasps> Talk about it. Katanya, you ready? Yo, Katanya, don't lie. You're not gonna bring um. You're not gonna bring your, your Girl Scout bag to to bring stuff in. I need to go pee. I'm just itchy, bro. I'm about to go. Let me go real quick to the bathroom. 
Watch my stuff, Tanya. Tanya, watch my stuff. People don't steal it, okay? Oh my gosh. But um, there's a lot going on. Bye. So I need to. So if y'all don't know, in New York City, we have a thing called Omni Card. They have like a new system called Omni. I don't know what the pronoun, not the pronouns, what the um acronyms actually mean. I feel like, especially in the field that I work in, everything is a damn acronym. HRA, um, FHC, CC, like everything is an acronym, and because of that, I assume that on Omni the. And why means New York City, well New York. Um, anything else? I'm like, I don't know what it is. But the other day, I didn't have an Omni card yet, the actual card card. Um, because not everywhere has the actual machines. I need to see how I can upload it without being at a machine. If I could do that, I also need to check on my phone to see if I can add it on my phone. Because if I can, we're in business. But um. I use my actual credit card, my debit card really, to charge for the bus. And I used one card, but apparently money was not on that card. And I used another card that charged me twice, even though I only was to get charged once. So now I have to call 511, which is, um, for, I guess we call 511 anywhere, but it would be the same thing for any state. I don't know. 5111, 511 for New York City is for the MTA, which is um, our trains and buses and stuff like that. So now I gotta call them and tell them to look at the card number and then I'll refund you back your money. This is the second time this happened to me, so I'm tired about that. They charged me twice instead of charging me once. I don't mind charging once, but I'm like, twice? Give me my 290 back. I don't care if 290, 290 is not a big deal, but it's a big deal to me. Now I'm picking up my glasses also, so that's what's going on right now too. So if y'all don't know if I had an update, I'm not sure if I told you guys about my my glasses about how it was supposed to be like a certain amount of money, and then it was like it was like told me eight hundred or something, yeah, seven hundred dollars. I was like, whoa, that's a lot, and I was like. So I told them, hold on, the Omni has me on the phone, Omni, then my insurance finally kicked in, they did it properly, it cost $37, like, that's what I mean, babe, it's crazy, no, so guys, it's loud, hopefully you can hear me, hopefully I'm talking loud enough, my allergies been bothering me, for the past hour, like 30 minutes, it's been not that bad, I'm supposed to be on a meeting with my job, so far people are not on, so that's good for me, I'm at a um, symposium right now, for New Destiny, if you don't know, right now is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, maybe it's not happening, because a couple weeks ago I was in this meeting, and the meeting wasn't happening, so maybe this meeting is canceled, and I don't realize it, because that could also that'd be the problem, but anyway, I'm in a symposium with New Destiny, and we know um, Destiny is a help people who are domestic violence survivors, and if you don't domestic violence, it's violence domestically, right? <laughs> I think it's self-explanatory. If you've been on my channel before, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, domestic violence can happen in many different ways. If you don't know, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And like I say all the time, domestic violence doesn't only happen in October. We, we not celebrate it, but talk about it. It happens 365 days. If you're in a loop year, 366, you know? So we have to make sure that we are aware about it. If we see something, see, see, see something say something, maybe not interfere with your hand. Or maybe say anything to that person, because that person, you're not, you're not sure what they're capable of, to be honest. But call a cop, um, when a person's by themselves, probably give them information, make sure they're safe um, as much as you can. But I'm not going to tell you to go anywhere and say, oh, stop doing this, and you get hurt. If you're a man, if you're a man, you can do what you want to do. But me as a woman, <laughs> right? Part of the rib. I'm not the whole rib, you know, I'm not the whole box. Um, I'm not gonna step in, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I would like to, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not, I can afford, especially where I live, I hear too much stories. You see on the news project when people try to come in and interfere with certain stuff and they get hurt. But it happens anywhere. People don't like you in their business, they do things to you, and then the person still end up with that person. Because it takes a long time for a person who is in that situation to actually leave, especially if they have kids. So, um, just be very aware of that. I think there's a community in this and I'm okay with that. I'm really okay. It's 10 02. You didn't have this late in the meeting. But yeah, so.
Despite having no preparations in place for motherhood, I made the difficult decision to embrace this new reality as a single mother. Little did I know, this decision would ultimately intertwine with my stroke against domestic violence. The months flew by, the stress of life intensified. When my son was born prematurely at seven months, Due to medical negligence, yes, a lot of the damages I explained, I will explain to you from the doctor, but he was left, I'm sorry. Alright, right, so due to med medical negligence, yes, he was left both deaf blind, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. he was left both deaf blind, he has se severe damages to both brain and his lungs. Right here. He has, um, he's non verbal. He has cranial stenosis of the skull, which means skull deformity. It means that the skull doesn't have enough space for its brain to grow, so it's squeezing on the brain. So that's another surgery. They said it's the highest rate, which means it's the highest level of surgery that will be performed, which means death or life. I've not thought about it because they said the brain still have a little more space in the, in the cranial, so I'm not going to put that one. Right. Um, he's nonverbal. He is intellectually, globally, developmentally difficult. And uh, he lives on medication daily for breathing, for sleeping, for behavioral issues. He takes one of the highest drugs uh, for a baby. I mean, people don't say drugs, medication. Yes. <laughs> and I know it's tough touchy for a lot of persons, a lot of people need to have it in But the, the, he was just, he was just going, he was so lost. Teachers could not give me. I could not give my own students. I could not give my own anybody. I couldn't sleep. So, perfect. Right, after my son went into court room for the first time, it was unbearable. The pain became unbearable. He even, his father even blamed me for the damage my son sustained due to the actions of my medical team. I can't imagine not wanting the child to know baby before the child, even though I'm not his doctor. He never visited the hospital once. He was incubated for about two months. At that time, in his early stage, he lived in three hospitals. He also suffered a heart problem. He had a hole in the heart, so you know, we had to wait until it closed. It was just a whole other process. All right. So he never visited once. He never thought, He never even said thank you for sitting by my son's incubator glass for over 52 days. He was watching him. I couldn't touch him. I couldn't hold him because he was pretty much. So he never once told me thank you as I spent 52 days by my son's bedside with tearful eyes fixed to the incubator glass door. It wasn't surprising that during this challenging period, his father chose to abandon us while we were in the midst of treatment. The pain was unimaginable. I knew he didn't want to be a father. I just wanted him to do the right by it. You know, he just wants somebody to do right. But there's just that thing where doing right is just, it's just normal. You don't have to be a father, you don't have to be a partner. You have a dying child, just do right. Right decision doesn't cost anything to do right. However, he chose to abandon us. I understood that my decision. Hey, what's up guys? Um, I was at the new Destiny thing I showed you earlier. This table is a mess. I'm in Tarjay right now, just hanging out with y'all. Um, and you know, I bring my, my stand everywhere I go. I, I, don't, I feel like I haven't been filming that much either, so I'm trying to do that and get my hours in and just trying to get my vlogging together and my life together at this point. Um, I was listening to a lady in her story and her son, she's actually homeless in um, domestic violence situation. And um, they filmed this, so I'm just telling you what, you know, what happened um, after I put down the camera. Well, you can actually see it. The lady who was speaking, um, that was in the last clip was literally before I filmed this. That was the last clip, right? Um, and she talked about her son who can't see, who can't hear. Um, he just started hearing me soon because they, what the hell? That's weird. Um, they just put on his, I think it's cochlear implant. I think that's what it's pronounced as or said as. 
Hopefully y'all can hear me because, you know, let me put it closer because I feel like y'all so far away. And it's not loud, loud, but just in case it is kind of loud, y'all can still hear me. And um, she's homeless and she's in a shelter, this particular shelter for 14 months. And um, she used to be, I'm just saying, I want to say this, um, I think sometimes we forget and I try to remind people, but now I feel like I don't do as much. I'm going to be more intentional now to think about people who have disabilities you know it's very hard for people with disabilities to get certain services and then sometimes people I think we put this thing like a lot of times people are in shelters because they can't afford rent which is true especially in New York City um, rent is crazy high or they're just being lazy um, they're on drugs they have mental health problems but people go people especially in New York City because they live literally paycheck to paycheck you miss one maybe two paychecks just if something happens to you something happens to your kid and you can't go to work but, you know, if you don't have a, a job that give you paid time off and things like that, you're screwed. You're screwed, you know? And people take very, like, people don't think about it until it happens to them or happens to somebody that they actually know. They take time to actually understand what's going on around them. There's a lot of things happening in New York City, a lot of things happening around the world. Um, and we just have to stand up for people who don't have a voice. And I'm only one person. Like, I used to feel like I didn't have a voice, I didn't have nothing to say, nothing, things like that. And now I do a lot of advocacy work, but I'm only one person. Like, I'm literally only one person. I can only make so much, um, so much, not push, but so much, I can only speak for so much, you know what I'm saying? When there's one person speaking, they don't hear as much. When there's a group of people speaking, they hear it in abundance, you know? So just make sure you be a voice for people who cannot speak for themselves and feel like they just have the right to have their back and things like that. Um, I don't know if it's weird if I, when I talk to you and I look over here or look over there. I don't look straight in the camera. When I talk to people in general, I don't look straight in their face. But I feel like when people do, I think, I don't know. Is it just me? Tell me what you think. Um, people look at straight in the camera. Do you feel like you're talking to a friend? Or if you're looking around, do you feel like you're talking to a friend that way? Like, does it matter which way I'm looking at? When I'm doing this kind of, like, sit down kind of video. Um, granted, this video is going to be a couple of videos together. Because it's not going to be just be one thing and just me sitting here and talking. As you can see, it's a vlog. But I just, I'm just going to see how, I, I'm going to make sure I'm connected to you guys and not just, you know, yeah. But I, you know what it is? When people, granted, when people are doing sit-down videos, usually story times I'm listening to or watching, I don't really normally just watch them do it. I, I listen to it. Um, but when I do watch them, they look straight in the camera. I don't feel like like a friend I feel like just talking to me when people do other stuff and then talk <coughs> I feel more connected that way but I'm thinking that I feel like I'm not a typical person that I think everybody else think is opposite of what I'm saying so I just want to see if I'm going to look at the camera while I talk to you like this to make it feel more personable I could try to do that more um, more um, my eyes bother me so um, I'm looking at the camera it's just weird to me, so that's why I particularly But I'm about to get loud here because they stop stuff at Starbucks, so yeah. Um, yeah, just have a food with them. Just be grateful what you have. And if you are a person in a position who is homeless or just um, not working or stuff like that, just, everything is going to be better. It's not always going to be this sucky, I promise. Um, usually, especially if you live in America, I feel most times it kind of gets a little bit better. And then you know, and if you need any resources and things like that, definitely um, hit me up. Because I'm okay to give you some. Granted, I know honestly a lot more resources for New York City because that's where I live. So just be mindful of that. Yeah. I hope everybody has a better day, a good day. And um, yeah. It's a lot. It's, it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And I just want people to be aware of the epidemic that we are having with that and how people can be affected and how if your child sees that violence around them that they might portray or uh, get that happen to them when they get older so just be aware of that so yeah anyway guys